too strained and unable to talk and stuff. But I hope your appointment goes well, Shadow, and I'll catch you later. Alright, I've hydrated as well. Alright, so that's that one gone. It's about zooming out too far because it wipes out what I can see. I still can't actually talk to Jeremiah because he's just he's having issues. So I'll have to come back to him later. But there is no Redemption 42 silo. It's a whole pack of rifts around here. And I just did a 40 monolith and a 35 silo. So this shouldn't be too hard. I'm just having a quick look around just to see if there's any others. I know there's a couple up here. One's a 45. And there's one more somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. Hey Fluffy, how you doing? How are you going with Once Human? What level you got up to? I might hit up the silo on the way up. Cause why the fuck not? I've also got like a teleportation tower like right there. So I might just scooch up to this one. I'll do a straight teleport to and fro. Hopefully they'll help. I'll also get us some drink too. Um. Yeah, how are you going with Once Human? How are you finding it? I've got a uh, fellow streamer that's doing a wolfathon at the moment. That's uh oh shit, hello. Um, that's like flying through the game, like this week. She's been like playing it pretty much non-stop, and it's insane to watch because like the amount of progress you can get if you have time dedicated to it is pretty insane. Like I caught up so much last week. Just from playing it every night last week. No teleportation nearby. Really? I don't know, standing on the fucking thing or I'm the helipad. Oh, this was a rift part, sorry. My teleportation pad's back up this way. Pretty sure. Now I'm not playing anything since there's a sale coming up. So I'm playing a new laptop like three times or four times. The older specs ones. Nice. Very nice. <coughs> um, yeah, hopefully you can get a uh, a good deal on something that's much more powerful and stuff. Do you find like the laptop you have is enough for the most part to play the game, or is it kind of like you just need like a little bit of power and stuff? Or have exams going every week? It's complicated. Was it as competitive as fuck? Uh, maintaining first rank takes most of my time but I plan to get back maybe on Sunday. Oh yeah. Yeah I, I did hear you say that you've been like studying and stuff like it gets to like um was it 7 30 for you and then you kind of like cut off and, and go do study and stuff very diligently and stuff. Yeah. Well, it's, it's nice that you like stop by and say hello and stuff when you got a chance to come by. It's like yeah I'm pretty curious how your game's going because like you're like, I can't, I can't quite remember, but I think you were like maybe level 15 or something last time I heard last week, maybe. Um, my brain's a little scrambled at the moment because like I'm sick, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's just interesting sort of, especially since like most everybody else isn't struggling with the whole game itself <laughs> to understand it. So Everybody's progressing so much faster than I did, so it's it's fascinating from my perspective. Um, but yeah, if I had, uh, like last week, you know, when I was playing just once human all week, like if I had like every night to just do that, I would probably be a lot more advanced than I am at the moment. I'm going to get kicked off this when I go in the corner. But yeah, I, I spent some time on... Saturday and Sunday playing. So I spent some time this morning, today, playing. Um, so I kind of like got rid of all the strongholds and stuff. I've just got to activate Riff Anchors and stuff, you know? Um, and my sun is like just up there. I wonder if I can climb from the back end here. Oh. 
Oh, there's a, there's a road up the front. Okay. Yeah, thanks for remembering. Yeah, I'm around that level. Hang on, it is fuck. I, I'm just out of interest. Like I have a very good memory, generally speaking. I I tend to remember a lot about like different people and what's going on and, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit capped and stuff. When I'm sick, I can't always like I can't always put the pieces together, you know. Um, I find the game's good. Oh, we got team in here too. Uh, I think it's good. It's very fun for me. You usually get shit done, like if they, if you have, uh, if you have in. I'm not sure what. Oh, invest time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I I definitely feel that way. They also released a heap of information about how the game's gonna progress and stuff. So how the scenario and stuff is gonna progress into next season. That was really cool to see. Um, once human has got that currently in their official Discord, they've got all that information in there. I don't know if they put it anywhere else, but uh, it explains a lot about what's coming and it sounds really cool. They're already starting to talk about the next areas and stuff, and I'm pretty keen to do that. It now makes sense, or at least we can kind of figure out why there's cold and flu medicine in the game. So, yeah, it's very interesting. 7.30 is generally because I come back from college around 5, 6, but now that I'm mostly home, so I study all day. If breaks and fun going on like that, oh yeah. yeah, definitely, like, very diligent about it and stuff. I say that because, like, I never went to any kind of, like, colleges or unis or anything like that, and I just wasn't very good with, uh, academics and stuff, but as a streamer, I actually spent a lot of time researching and learning all kinds of stuff so I do put in that kind of time now but it's not because I have to like take a test or anything like that you know I don't have to worry that I might fuck something up like uh, the world I live in is a lot more lenient you know um I mean it's very fun if they go into super futuristic era type maybe one of the best games coming on they have heaps of different sort of things I uh I've heard some stuff about like elders or something like that and it sounds really interesting like um I don't want to spoil shit because I'm looking forward to seeing it myself and I may not fully understand it right at the minute <laughs> so just can keep my mouth shut about that shit but yeah if anybody wants to read it for themselves once humans basically got a novel going in their uh patch news it might actually be in the steam patch news actually possibly here to check out a new bounty task. Our mission to eradicate the evil in this world is thriving. And where are we delivering justice this time? We are bringing justice, but I doubt our client, Mr. Clay, would merit much sympathy. He was a vulture. To be more precise, the former head of a vulture gang. Quite an effective criminal, if I may say so myself. Capable of killing someone for a can of food without blinking. What on earth are we helping them? It's simple. His bounty meets the procedural standards of justice. Clear evidence provided. Crimes committed. Allegations proven. The target deviant is indeed guilty of terrible crimes. Here's the bounty case file. You can see for yourself. Mr. Clay has a clear connection to the deviant in question. Okay. He's gonna talk over me in a sec. Just give him a minute. Now, I understand you may have doubts about the client's motives. But I assure you that carrying out this bounty will achieve justice in every sense. Although sometimes, of course, People may see an unusual way to benefit from filing a bounty. There is a gentleman who is a particular beneficiary of this bounty. But I can tolerate it in this case. You know, I generally don't really like like a lot of the old timey kind of voices. But I actually find his is kind of comforting. It does sound like when you used to pick up an old telephone, it was like not the best line and stuff. It does genuinely remind me of that and yes I also come from that era 
like 36 so um yeah we had house phones and shit uh I guess I love that kind of life I study the subject for the exam it's just a product of studying and understanding the subject it really is like the thing is I think when I used to do classes and stuff like that is like I understood the topics this is the thing my teachers will always tell me is I understood the topic and I could like if they sat down and they watched me like execute the task I would be correct but I couldn't get it onto paper so my tests were always really bad even though I knew what I was doing and how to do it and why it was done and stuff like that so I just didn't have the ability to get what was in my head onto paper to prove that I was smart so it turns out that like the rest of my life is where you know life skills was kind of important for me but yes obviously like if you enjoy getting to study a subject like really intensely and stuff then like you're probably one of like the luckier people in that scenario a lot of people it's like just grueling to sit there and just read or you know there's a lot of information like this game has a lot of information and I just kind of like reading it I just do it's interesting they put the time in to make this information I might as well read it um client Lee <clears throat> accused the deviant of multiple cases of torture and murder from blank 36 to blank 38 including the killing of three vulture gang members blood toe short stick and black frog in March 36 scavengers alien William in June 36, a traveling singer, Silver Tongue Simon, in November 36, an identified vendor in February 37, client's right hand man, Barb, in June 37, scavenger Richard Kader in September 37. Jesus. After a thorough examination of all the available evidence, Teamhead declares the defendant guilty as charged according to the uh, 978 Nicolet Penal Code and the 31st Amendment of the Federal Constitution regarding the maximum penalties and the Deviant Landfill is hereby the Deviant Landfill is hereby sentenced to death by open bounty so my brain just had to process the um like the, the sentencing in that because like usually landfill is something that you'd hear like at the start end of the conversation um not as like a name like it can be a name but like yeah my brain's just not there for it today the client determined that the criminal was deep within the psi securement silo all right well we should be good to go for this i'm pretty sure i've got yeah a fuck ton of ammo in general a fuck ton of ammo yeah we should be right let's go in this is a 45. Honestly, it shouldn't be too hard compared to the 40. Like, I did go up to a 50, my own, uh, with one of the lower level ones, but I can't guarantee that I won't need two people for a 50. But the game does encourage uh, builds and stuff, like building armor and stuff like that, which I personally am not somebody that does that. So I may end up being just rightly hand handicapped through the whole thing because of it. But we will see. I'm guessing it wants me to go down. Yeah, it looks like it wants me to go down. I can understand. Frankly, I'd get into gaming 24 7 if I could because I find it very fun. Irrespective of toxicity every now and then. Oh, irrespective of the toxicity every now and then. I'm not gonna lie, your voice sounds calm even though it's due to laryngitis and the flu. Hope it yourself if you can. I will. Hold on. Yeah, Shadow said earlier that I sound like I'm like shouting in um in lower caps, which I thought was really funny. Because it's kinda true. But yeah, generally speaking, like for anybody that hasn't really heard me before, I am Australian. I uh, generally talk a little bit faster. I talk kind of non-stop. Um, 
in. I feel like I've got like a relatively like distinct voice and stuff, but I'm trying not to like I'm trying not to push my voice <coughs> at all. So there's certain like there's certain sentences that like trigger the fuck out of it and like trip me up and make me cough and stuff. I can't do anything about it. I find it quite calming. But voice, very fun vibe, and this one has very cherished vibe to it. <coughs> Thank you. I was a little bit worried. I mean, aside from like the coughing, like I said, I can't do anything about the coughing. Um, aside from that, as long as I remember to like inhale and exhale and stuff between. Um, certain words and sentences it's not as bad it just takes me a little bit longer to communicate which for me is kind of frustrating because generally spell Australians we talk so fast um, so I just feel like I'm like talking really slow um, amazed by your little stream of the flu uh, it's just the flu though um, this is something that I was saying earlier that like if I wasn't up for it I wouldn't be streaming but the thing is I think the thing is like there's a little bit of context you guys don't really know about me that uh, makes this make a little bit more sense I lived by myself for like almost a decade right and living by myself meant that you know nobody else paid the bills like I, I had to get up and go to work regardless if I was unwell and stuff and the job that I kind of worked in was sort of shit at the time but I also worked right next door to a chemist so I got sick multiple times a year with multiple different things and I just had to pick and choose because you know I only had a, a finite amount of days a sick days that I could take off every year I had to kind of pick and choose when I just wasn't well enough to work and when I could just, you know, do at least some part of my job and stuff, even if it wasn't necessarily like the main focus part of it or something like that, but you know, just turn up and work kind of thing so that I could still get paid for it and not have like sick days and stuff used up. Um, the other thing too is I have a lot of chronic health conditions. My average day, for me, a normal day is not the same as someone else's normal day. It's just fundamentally worse on general. Like, I get up, I have some level of chronic pain, fatigue, um, whatever. I, I maybe can't eat. And at the moment I can't eat. Um, maybe I've got, depending on the day, maybe I've got some vomiting or some stomach upset. Like whatever's going on, you know. So to kind of put it bluntly, like um, most people go, oh god, you know, as something, I don't know what that is. Is that bringing in reinforcements? Yeah, so basically like normally somebody that isn't kind of gone through the stuff that I have had to kind of go through would go you know it's a flu you you should take time off your rest the other thing too is that like I'm not gonna just be better usually in under a fortnight like I can't just take like three or four days off and and I don't see improvement like I um I'm generally sick with any kind of flu cold or whatever for um, a month to a month and a half. Um, I don't have a very good immune system, I'm immunocompromised to begin with. So I get very sick very very fast. Um, so I often escalate to like a deeper sickness really really quickly um, and then I can't fight it off. It is, yeah, you. So I kind of if, if you think about it from the context of like, you know, if I was living by myself and I had a day job and stuff like that, I would have to get up and uh, 
you know, sort out my pets and decide whether or not I'm well enough to do some capacity of my job so as to not waste a, a sick day and then, you know, go and work that day um, to best of my capabilities, then, you know, I'd probably have to, you know, get groceries or something like that and then uh, sort out my dinner, feed myself, um, maybe have to still do some kind of basic chore like laundry or dishes or something like that um, and then yeah then I get to rest and I get to go to bed like that's kind of how my life was for nearly a decade so I um, I do listen very closely to my body and I do judge how I am and what I can do and like yeah it's it's a little bit different like I don't just I don't and I can't just kind of drop everything because I'm just sick for so long usually why I like get so worried about like potentially getting sick and shit because like you know if I get the flu I am getting laryngitis you know it for me comes with it if I get the flu I might get pneumonia or I might just skip the flu and get pneumonia, you know, and that's pretty awful. Um, all sorts of stuff, you know. So, yeah, it's it's a little bit different for me, but trust me, if I if I felt like I couldn't be here, if I felt like I couldn't comfortably stream and talk and play and all this stuff, I wouldn't. I would let you know that I can't and. I would be trying to like land bed like last night yesterday I didn't stream because I was up most of the day at the doctors and um, at the medical testing facilities and stuff uh, running some like urgent tests to just find out what I had because it had progressed so quickly like the good thing is my doctor's really great he's he's known my history for like all through everything so he just like, he knows, he, he just pretty much looks at my history, looks at me and he goes, what's going on? And depending on how shit's moving, he's just like, yep, let's get you sorted. Um, so yeah, I basically had to get some tests, get some swabbings, you know, all the fun things, um, find out which kind of a flu I've got. Um, and then if I had needed more antibiotics or something like that, I would have gotten a call and I would have had to have gone back to the doctor for a script to increase what I'm on. Which I'm already on some pretty strong stuff. It's supposed to apparently, supposed to apparently prevent me from sleeping. But that's not what it did. Because like yesterday I took it, after being up at the doctors and all these things, I, I took the medicine and I'm like, oh man. This will be fine. I'm, I'm kind of tired. I've been up all day. I haven't rested and stuff. And I, I got so tired immediately after taking it. I'm like, is this one of those scenarios where they told me the wrong thing? Um, and yeah, anyway, I ended up, I ended up falling asleep before stream and I was just too tired to, uh, basically get up and try to stream and stuff. And I'm like, I'm sure everybody will understand if I have that night off. I really wanted to play them well last night. I really did. But, you know, sleep was a higher priority for me, so I prioritised sleep. And then I didn't end up sleeping the whole rest of the night, and today I just couldn't, couldn't fall asleep. So I ended up playing a bit of Once Human, because I was up. Um, and it was also a public holiday around here too, so um, my partner was home and free and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of fucked up and drank a juice that had grapefruit in it. And I'm not supposed to have that with any of my medicines at all. So I had a, um, a full blown asthma attack and vomiting and shit earlier today. It's been, it's been wild. It's been a hell of a day. Um, and I want another asthma attack like that any year soon. That was horrible. I think he's gonna burn. There we go. I understand it. You know what needs to be done? It needs to be done. It, it does, and I think that's the thing is like when you look after yourself and stuff. I need, I need health. When you look after yourself, you just kind of have to do whatever, right? Like, I'm not a parent or anything like that. I'm not 
in the uh, vein of life for children. That's not my thing. But um, I understand that there would be people out there that do this more so because like they don't have a choice to have to get up and take care of dependents and stuff. Uh, and their day's probably a lot more rigorous and shit, but, you know, I'm very grateful for the fact that I am not alone because I have my partner and stuff. And, you know, if I can't talk to make a doctor's appointment, at least he can talk to the doctor, you know. Um, little things like that just make a difference, you know. Um, yeah. I also didn't have to stress about being the one to drive to the appointment. Because, um, yeah, he was able to do that on his lunch break and stuff, which was very nice of him. But he would anyway, but, like, it's still very nice that, like, he's just like, sure. Like, you look fucking terrible. <laughs> Basically, I looked and sounded so terrible. Um, so, yeah, I appreciated that he did that. Because I'm like, last thing I wanted to do, and something I always worried about when I was sick by myself, was like, what if I'm unfocused and I have a car crash or something like that? Like, what then? You know, that's how I feel about it anyway. Because I'm like, you know, stuff happens. I think I need my other gun for you guys. Unless you guys get here. No, they might come over. Let me release the butterfly. I hope you'll get better by the coming days. I hope so too, because I, I have a funeral to attend next week. So it would be nice if I could respectfully pay my respects at the event, within the event. Um, otherwise I will be paying my respects from the hallway or the car park, um, which doesn't, s doesn't sort of feel the same. Um, but I'm, I'm not expecting to be better, or, well, um, let me correct that. I'm expecting to be a little bit better, but I'm not expected to be, well, like, completely back to normal, you know. I I'm just expecting to be at least capable of standing in a room without, like, coughing through the entire thing maybe that would be nice or without being contagious that would also be really nice specifically that one you know that's my priority obviously getting better as fast as possible is always a priority but I have extra extra reason for wanting to you know I kind of need to keep going it's just back a little bit more there Somebody is locked on to me. Or oh, that thing. Where are you? You're a troll. I don't know that these things hit me. Jesus. Um. Everyone has different problems going on. Yeah, they do. It's the thing. Is uh, most of us uh, generally just focus in on ourselves and stuff. Sometimes we see others. And sometimes we hear what others are going through and stuff, but it's it's kind of like a little bit normal for it not to be the very first thing that comes to your mind because, you know, your life is your own priority and stuff. The hell is that other noise? Ah, oh, it is spawning stuff. I don't know what's spawning, but I don't think my butterfly can attack. I have to get back for a moment. Quite hard to find chill people and doctors, especially here. Yeah, look, it's taken me a long time to find a good doctor. Like, I, I've had so many different doctors that either don't take me seriously or dismiss my symptoms and stuff. Um, and like, I've got multiple medical conditions, right? So it's not like I'm making it easy for them to figure out shit. Because one thing could be making something else worse, and sometimes that is what's going on, you know? Um, but still, this guy's really good. He's He's been like, he's the one that like helped push for me to get like treatments for like my Crohn's, get that diagnosed. He's been, um, you know, mental health. He's been uh, asthma, uh, pneumonia, yeah, all kinds of things. He's been really great. Like, yeah, he just does his job. And he does it with, like, at least, like, the basic level of human decency to, like, pay attention and care. Which I can really appreciate, you know. 